Jesus' sixth word from the cross, written in John chapter 19. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. Stanza three of Martin Luther's famous hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, ends this way. Speaking about Satan, Luther wrote, One little word can fell him. Research has shown that Luther had one specific word in mind at the end of stanza three, the word liar. But I think another word would fit very, very well into that inverse, tetelestai. Tetelestai is one Greek word, the sixth word that Jesus spoke from the cross, which turns into three English words, it is finished. Now, it's true that Jesus could have been talking about that drink of sour wine that he had just taken, but there's so much more than that. Jesus was talking about God's plan of salvation. Jesus was talking about his work as our Savior and our substitute. Jesus is talking about that cup of suffering that he agonized over in the Garden of Gethsemane. To tell us that, it is finished. But what made it all necessary? Well, that goes back to Satan and back to another garden, the Garden of Eden. There, Satan led Adam and Eve into sin and brought death into the world. There, Satan separated God from the crown of his creation. There, Satan destroyed the perfect harmony and fellowship that God had with mankind, the perfect harmony and fellowship of husband and wife. There, with everything in ruins, God, in his grace, made a promise. He would send a Savior. And that Savior would crush the head of that serpent, Satan. But it would come at a cost. That serpent, Satan, would crush the heel of the Savior. And so God sent his one and only Son into the world, he was conceived by the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary. And he lived a perfect life as our substitute. He took on human flesh. He was in every way like us. And yet he was without sin. From the moment of his conception, he began to carry out God's plan. He faced every single temptation and trial that we face. And yet was without sin. And then he allowed himself to be persecuted. He allowed himself to be captured. He endured a sham trial and a bogus conviction. And then he suffered the wrath of sinful mankind all the while he was enduring it for them. And as he hung on the cross, having endured the full brunt of hell, being forsaken by his father, he was finally able to say that one word that would fell Satan forever. Telestine. It is finished. His perfect life had been offered in the place of every sinner. God's wrath has been satisfied as his holy, precious blood had been shed to pay for the sins of the whole world. God's plan from the beginning was now accomplished. Telestine. It is finished. And because it is finished, Satan has no charge to bring against us. He can no longer accuse. He can no longer control. He can no longer touch us because it is finished. Jesus stood in our place, lived the life that we could not live, died the death that we deserved, accomplished God's plan of salvation. And so it is with heartfelt thanks and inexpressible joy that we hear those words today. To tell us that it is finished. Amen. Let us pray. God in heaven, according to your will and in your Son Jesus Christ, all is finished. May all our works always be done according to your divine will and never following our own understanding. Amen.